hello, hello, hello everyone, Zildjian here with another SMR video. So yeah, this one, it's a little different from usual. It came, uh, it's hard to tell the difference between the ingredients, but yeah, there's orange is the carrots. And then these things over here is radishes. And then all the things in the middle, the the really small white stuff, that's rice. And the bigger white stuff, that's mozzarella cheese. There's also some, um, not sure what it's called, but I I think it's, oh, God damn it. I think I knew the name before, but it's basically seafood. And there's some tiny little fishes. Uh, I, I can't even spot it. Yeah, you can't really see it. But yeah, bunch of stuff that I just threw together. <laughs> yeah, everything was boiled except for the cheese because then it would melt too much. Also, there's some egg over here. Um, it's somewhere. There, there's some egg. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get started. I don't know if the <clears throat> exact Chinese word, but basically radishes and carrots, they use the same word. It's just one is white and one is red. I'm not sure why in Chinese, often you, you call something red, even though it might be like orange or brown. Yeah. <laughs> like my family says I have a red beard, even though it's definitely not red it's more like a light brown or dark orange so it's either called white radish and red radish or white carrots and red carrots anyone know Chinese tell me which which one is supposed to be? I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess they're called the same thing because they have like a similar shape. Who knows? Maybe like they're even related plants. So the cheese kind of melted. I, I boiled everything and then put the cheese on top of it afterwards. So it's, an, it's not fully melted, just sort of melted. So it's like, so it's stuck to the, you know, the seafood and the rice and stuff. Nice and cheesy. But did you spot that? Some of it got caught in my beard. Actually, that, that happens very little, amazingly. Which is a good thing, because I was actually worried having a long beard, food might get caught into my beard a lot. But actually, it doesn't really. Here's some of the egg yolk. Yeah, I just dropped it in. Right when the water's boiling, dropped it in. So the egg white is fully cooked, but the egg yolk is not. But honestly, it tastes better like this. It's nice and gooey. That was pretty hot. Like runny, runny egg yolk has like a similar consistency to like 
semi melted cheese. That's probably why I like it so much. This piece a little bit more cooked, more solid egg yolk. Yeah, this is a little more firm. The cheese. Everything here is raw except for the rice that was already pre-cooked. It's leftover rice. I was hoping it would like turn into a porridge or something like kanji, but I guess it takes more than a couple of minutes to boil to melt the rice. That's fine. Watery rice is probably doesn't taste good by itself, but you got all the seafood and this cheese and the egg. So yeah, it's fine. The rice definitely tastes a little bland, especially since it's been boiled. But like I said, it's fine. You mix all the flavors together, it's great. God, I can't really see it, but the egg yolk, I just burst it. Here's some of it. It's all liquidy and gooey. Tastes really good. Carrot definitely tastes better than radish. It's a lot sweeter. It's still really fine, freaking hot. Mmm. I think these are scallops. Really small scallops. These it's been like dehydrated and frozen or something. The fresh scallops is like at least as big as this carrot. When it's all shrunken and frozen and dried, yeah, it's tiny. There's some fresh scallop that's like as big as this. Yeah, huge. Fresh scallops definitely a lot sweeter. This is like, I don't know if it's been seasoned or not, but it's definitely like different taste. A very strong taste. Here you can see all the runny egg yolk that mixed in with the, some of the water. Probably because I used more cheese. Thank you. 
The radish definitely the weakest part. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't taste that bad. It's like a hint of sweetness just compared to everything else. It's the most bland. I want the rice is the most bland, but I don't have to chew it. It goes down easy. I just have to chew. There's a nice pocket of cheese. It's not that hot now, mostly because I ate most of it. Oh, that was kind of gross. I used the tissue that was wiping my mouth. I didn't wipe my nose, but I used a different part of the tissue. I'm just gonna put it to the side, not use that anymore. I probably said this a million times. I'm gonna say it a million more. Raw carrot just does not taste good. Cooked carrot tastes really sweet and great. For the most part, raw vegetables doesn't taste that good. Usually the cooked version is sweeter. I don't know why. The raw version will like taste more bitter. Maybe cooking it destroys the bitterness. Like I was like, I noticed with um, with like a uh, jalapeno peppers. If I eat it raw, oh my god, my mouth is on fire. If I cook it, it it's really mildly spicy. Like when you eat it raw, your mouth is on fire. It's like oh my god, this was a big mistake. But if, if I cook it first, then eat it, it's like, what? This tastes nothing like how it was when I was eating it raw. Like, I can barely taste, like it actually tastes just sweet. Like, I can't even taste the spiciness. Maybe some molecules, is like the flavor molecules, it gets just a little bit of heat. Vegetables definitely taste sweeter after you cook it. At least for me, that's my opinion, my taste, that's my experience. Fruit, however, tastes worse when you cook it. Because like all the juices come out and all the sugar and the juices come out. It tastes kind of bland after you. But then the water, the soup or whatever, the soup, even though it's more like juice, yeah, it tastes really good, really sweet. I guess because fruit has more water in it. I 
Look, all the sugar is inside water or something. I don't know. But if you like dry fruit, all the water's gone. The sweetness is super concentrated and it tastes like too sweet. Like I don't even like like prunes and raisins and stuff like that. Dried uh, plums, m mangoes, figs. Oh my god! Fresh figs. I love them. They taste so good. Dried figs. It just tastes completely different. Like I don't even like. Like I don't. But like this doesn't taste like figs when I eat it. I guess you need the flesh of the, the fruit meat and the juices inside. And the sweetness from the sugar. You need like all three. <clears throat> a fresh fruit is like a perfect combination of that. Like dry fruit, don't like it. Don't it doesn't taste good. Fruit juices, a lot of the times, also don't like it, doesn't taste good. I like eating grapes, but raisins taste bad, grape juice also tastes bad. Grapes taste great. Grapes taste great, but grape products taste disgusting. <laughs> So this is basically the soup water mixed with the egg yolk, runny egg yolk. It looks like like a melted custard or something. <laughs> I was afraid it's gonna taste bad. It's a rice, but it ended up tasting good. Well, definitely the cheese and the scallop helped a lot because the massive amounts of flavor in it. Almost choked. Tastes like there's some sand in it, probably from the, the scallops, maybe. Or the vegetables. Yeah, when I prepare the food, I'm not really hardcore into like the scrubbing and the cleaning and the rinsing and stuff. Just put it on your sink, put it on the water, bam, I'm done. <laughs> That's it, a couple of seconds is enough for me. Those are definitely shells, definitely from the scallop. Mm. Don't know if you can hear it, but it's really loud inside my ears. Definitely sand or shells. Okay. So that ended up being delicious and hopefully I don't get food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, cause yeah, I always take a bunch of random ingredients and stick it in a pot and eat it. With no regard to my, <laughs> to any consequence, consequences. But so far so, so good of all these videos, all these <coughs> meals that <coughs> 
<coughs> all these meals that I've been <coughs> cooking, making, so far so good. No diarrhea, no food poisoning as far as I can tell. Yeah, so hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe, comment, rate the video. And I think I forgot to turn out the autofocus. God damn it. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye.